Hi everyone, this is DeFi Dad. So I'm gonna walk you through a sh short tutorial on how to uh, participate in the Gitcoin Grants Round 6. So this is a really cool initiative that allows you to uh, donate to different open source software teams. Uh, also, they've explored donating to those that are uh, you know, providing for what's called public goods in the community. So for example, like the fact that I create these free videos and anybody can watch them, I, technically that would fall under a public good. Uh, but also, aside from the tech uh, that I think has really been the main focus of this with 100,000 in matching funds to support Ethereum infrastructure projects, ETH 2.0, decentralized finance, crypto wallets, and the ever important UX. Um, there's also the Ethereum media and community. So that's what I was just referring to. Uh, that, that includes like Bankless and someone like a David Hoffman or anti -pro Synthesis, uh, who's, you know, uh, been on Twitter for years, basically helping to educate people on Ethereum. Uh, there's also $25,000 set aside for matching for crypto for Black Lives, which supports initiatives regarding education, policy change, and funding against systemic racism and for continued growth in African-American communities. So all good stuff. And... I think what's worth noting is that the last round, so we're on round six, we've been through five of these. Uh, round five raised 492,000, which was almost half of the 1.2 million that's been raised in, in the last year. And then you'll notice that it was 220,000 from the community, but then 250,000 was uh, the matching funds. And so that those matching funds get divvied up amongst the different uh, grants. And the way that that works is uh, it, it's, it's powered by quadratic funding, which I'm not going to be able to explain to you here. But think of it this way. It's like it's an attempt to find a fair way of divvying up funds amongst folks according to, you know, who's receiving the most number of contributors. Are those contributors uh, repeat contributors to Gitcoin grants? Um, you know, how much money are they actually donating, you know, in terms of each of those, those different contributors. Anyways, it's like a way of, I think, measuring credibility and, and using that credibility to deploy these funds to where the community would see it be most effective. And here's the platform. You just go to gitcoin.co slash grants. Once you're on Gitcoin uh, grants, one of the really clever things they've done is they have enabled you so that once you log in, so you know, once I logged in under my DeFi Dad account and I've connected MetaMask, <clears throat> it actually reminds me of everything I donated to last round. And so I could just click add to cart and I could basically go donate to all the same folks again, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing, but Let's just assume that I'm brand new to this. So, you know, if you've never participated, this is, uh, again, one of my favorite things in Ethereum. You just, you can donate one die in some cases. And you'll notice that if you donate one die here to the Lighthouse team, which is building an Ethereum 2.0 client, um, one die will get matched with 22 die. <clears throat> one thing to be mindful of is with quadratic funding, these numbers are going to change day to day. Uh, so sometimes these numbers will go up more over time, uh, and sometimes these numbers will come down. Uh, I, I don't really worry too much about it. I, I find them to be somewhat entertaining as I'm donating to think that if I donate one die, it's actually worth 22 here. But again, uh, Lighthouse could end up having higher matching rates by the end of all of this. So I'm going to add Lighthouse. I'm also going to add... Uh, course I'm going to add week in Ethereum news with Evan and then actually you'll notice here on the right side I've got all these different grants I, this was actually from me having clicked add to cart earlier so we've got all these different folks that I've already donated to in the past that I intend to donate to again and so once I'm ready to uh, check out I can just click check out Okay, so this is this is new actually. It's first time for me as well. 
So let's see, this process is optional. You can verify your phone number. You can still contrib contribute to grants without verifying, but your matching impact may be reduced until you are verified, especially in cases of many. Okay, so I guess it's up to you. Uh, you can, uh, let's see here, click here to read why Gitcoin is asking for your SMS has gone to extreme lengths to preserve your privacy. All right, cool. So I guess, you know, you, you have an option here whether or not you want to uh, verify by text or not. Um, the one thing that interests me is that <clears throat> my matching impact may be reduced until you are verified. So I probably am going to go through this because I do trust that they're going to uh, lengths to preserve my privacy as, as it says here. All right, so I've verified my phone number. Again, you don't have to do that. Uh, so that's your choice. Once you get to this grant card, you'll notice I have 42 items. So that's 42 different grants that I'm planning to donate to. And I can donate as little as one die. Uh, it's totally up to you. Also, you can donate, uh, you know, depending on what that team is willing to accept, you can donate uh, different digital assets. So. I would say most common for me is just to use die. So I will, like you'll notice here with Interaxis, they don't have any matching yet. It's probably because no one has donated yet to them. Uh, also too, if I wanted to get rid of this, just hit the little trash icon. Bankless, you'll notice with five die that I'm donating, it gets matched with 7.63 die. David Hoffman, if I give him five die, uh, he gets matched with 2.5 die. And anyways, you get the idea. So I'm gonna go through these and decide how much I'm gonna to donate to each, and then I'll show you what the final checkout looks like. All right, so here I am at the end of my checkout. Uh, one last thing just to note is that you have the ability to add comments. So you can do that for any of these. And so like, for example, I could say, uh, Keep, oops, is my computer too slow? There we go. Keep doing great work, Evan. There we go. <laughs> I think my computer's about ready to burn out here for the night. Uh, okay, so anyways, I am going to no donate in this case, uh, I'm gonna donate across all these different projects, uh, 90 die plus 0.01 ETH. One of the uh, folks here didn't accept die. They only took ETH, so that was my choice there. And we don't need to hide my wallet address. So that's another thing you can choose to hide that if you wanna remain anonymous, but the wallet I'm using here is a public address I use for doing demos. All right, so here is the wrap up. I am contributing uh, 85.5 die, 0.01 ETH, and then I'm additionally contributing 4.5 die plus 0.0005 ETH to the Gitcoin maintainer grant. That is here. If you click adjust, this is uh, a way to say thanks to Gitcoin. So let's actually bump that up a bit. There we go. Thanks, guys. <laughs> They're the ones powering this whole thing. So it's pretty cool what they do. Uh, all right, so that is it then. So we're all set to go. I'm gonna fund those 39 items. Let's see how many times I need to click here. All right, cool. So this is the first one just to give permission to actually move my die. And I'm gonna check the uh, I'm checking on my phone right now at ethgasstation.info. Ethgasstation.info tells me that the, okay, so gas prices right now are very high. Um, so 30 will work. Uh, let's go and click save. And then let's just check one more thing. Permission, cool. So this is, uh, this is I think a best practice I've been noticing uh, more recently. So it's only asking permission to move my 90 die. I love that. So it means I don't have to uh, 
it means that I'm not giving unlimited permission to move any and all of my, my die. All right, so we've done that. Uh, let's see what this next transaction is. Okay, so this is where I'm going to All right, so, so it looks like the gas fee is gonna run me a lot of money. Uh, I'm, I might actually have to return to this then later. Uh, I know why. Okay, so I am going to be doing a lot of transactions here. So keep in mind, I'm doing Okay, so now I'm seeing a second transaction that I need to confirm. What I need to be mindful of and what I'm noting here is that it's gonna cost me around $30 of gas. And that is because I am donating to 39 different grants. And so keep in mind, gas is high still, but this has something more to do with the fact that I'm donating to almost 40 grants. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so that's it. My transactions have gone through. I've donated to 39 projects, which if we scroll down here, you should be able to see these. So yeah, um, anyways, it's a much better experience checking out this time with Gitcoin grants. And then if I actually look at that transaction, remember that I spent, uh, I ended up spending, oh, well, this is good. Uh, so it was estimating that I was going to spend a transaction fee equivalent to uh, around like $30, but it ended up coming in at much less. So that's always good. <laughs> uh, we'll have to uh, ask the Gitcoin team maybe why it overestimated so much more there. But yeah, again, remember that gas prices are high. And so I love the the bulk checkout. That, that's a part of this now. And, and then you can see here the 39 different transactions where you know some of these are one die that I'm donating and then some of them are 4.5 die. And, but any, anyways, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Again, I think Gitcoin Grants is really, really important to you know, the sustainability of all of these open source teams continuing to build. And, and really the work that they do is what makes the Ethereum community so great. So, I mean, none of us would be here testing out DeFi apps or using them if it weren't for all of the work that, that has come before us. Uh, so anyways, please pay it forward. Uh, go to gitcoin.co slash grants and all you'll have to do is create a Gitcoin profile and connect your MetaMask wallet. And I think you'll have a much better experience this round six, uh, just because of the tweaks they've made to doing a bulk checkout.